Workers at General Motors' largest U.S. factory in Arlington, Texas, have voted in favor of the tentative contract as voting procedures between the United Auto Workers Union and the big three companies continue. Let's bring in Yahoo Finance's Pras Subramanian to give us the details. Uh, Pras, where does this put things in terms of car makers being able to put the strike all behind them? Well, for GM, at least, it seems there's some uh, uh, positivity. There's, they're on track for ratification. Uh, you mentioned that big plant in Arlington, Texas, they uh, voted to approve the deal. So uh, GM looking at now more than 54% approval vote as of the moment. Uh, there's a couple plants that are not included in there, including uh, in the UAW's vote tracker. There's a plant in Lansing Delta Township where they actually voted against the, the, the proposal, and they did not add those numbers yet to the actual uh, tabulation, but and also a few GM parts and distribution centers are not yet fully in there yet from a vote point of view, but it seems like it won't be enough to overturn. For GM, nearly 32,000 voters have, or workers have voted out of a possible 47,000 total GM UAW members. So uh, today's 4 p.m. deadline is looming here. For, for, for we might see, that's the looming deadline for the vote. We're not necessarily going to know all the results until probably later tonight or maybe tomorrow. But as of the at the moment right now, GM is sort of okay from an approval of the UAW tentative deal. And Pras, after all it took to get here, what would happen if the overall vote is a no? Right, so it requires, it doesn't go plant by plant. It's gotta be an overall vote of the entire UAW membership for a manufacturer. If they vote a simple majority no, then what happens is that the leadership has to decide, what are we gonna do here? Are we gonna try to amend the pattern agreement? Are we gonna try to do another vote? Are we gonna go on strike again and try to actually extract more concessions that possibly the workers want? Uh, we saw with Mack Trucks, they actually rejected the deal, went on strike after about 30 days, and now they actually approved it. So that's a possibility, but that would be a very huge negative for GM and, and the industry. And I think everyone's trying to, on both sides, UAW leadership and GM leadership, they wanna make sure this passes. We'll certainly be watching that closely at four o'clock today. Thank you to our very own Pras Subramanian there.